Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to print models bigger than your printer. Despite the limited size of the print space, printing a model this big is not a problem. From my experience I recommend to slice the model into smaller parts. The final model will have more clefts, but you can print individual parts faster using more printers. Model is better heated and his temperature is stable, so the object won't twist or detach from print bed. And if some problem appears anyway, it's better to reprint just the smaller parts. You can make horizontal cuts directly in slicer. The 3D modeling software is needed for more complex slicing. Before gluing the parts, it is good to prepare something to fix them together. The adhesive tape is a great choice. If you are using a super glue, you can also use an activator to speed up the process of drying. If you don't have any activator, you can just powder the joints with baking soda instead. If you are printing from ABS, you can use acetone to join the parts. And for other materials, you can use two component adhesive or super glue. After the assembly, some of the gaps are more or less visible. If there is an edge, you can easily grind it or slice off with incisor. But what about the gaps? You can use modeling filler, or better, a 3D pen. 3D pen allows you to fill the gaps with the same material that you used for printing. We use 3Doodler because it has a control pedal and a lot of changeable tips. Also, you can use a special effacing extension, which allows you to obliterate problems. You can use the filament from the spool. It is better to unbend it first using, for example, a heat gun. This is a great way to fix errors. Have you ever made an excessive model from parts? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.